all right students today actually i'm planning to do questions from electronics actually in electronics in the mcq paper we will be getting three questions for mcqs and actually we are getting one essay for the essay paper right from the essay we are getting uh, 7.5 marks and whereas from the mcq paper we will be getting three marks so all together that's 10.5 marks we are talking about right uh, in electronics we have diodes zener diodes led and then we are moving into yes junction transistors uh, junction field effect transistors and then operation amplifiers and finally we have yes logic gates flip flops and all that right so there are lots of uh, elements actually we need to practice those type of questions quite a lot then only we'll be able to do mcq question o and essay question so most of the students actually they are not ready to do electronics essay question but i am suggesting you to try that question so for that actually you need to practice lots of questions from mcqs and then start trying past paper questions from 2000 up to date i well, assume we have we are in 2024 now so we have from 2000 we have almost 23 questions uh, in the essay paper electronics so you can try those questions as well right so today actually we are doing uh, questions from electronics bit of uh, essay type questions just try the question whenever it appears just try the question then follow through the uh, explanation guide right so the video will be a little bit longer than usual but still go through it go through with it and also even if you could do the question just follow through the explanation you will learn something new so let's get into the question now just do the question and follow through the equation uh follow through the guide right let's do the question all right let's get into the question now right so they're asking us to find i b then i c then i e and finally v c e right so we can start with i b let's draw the current i b here so i b flows downwards from this point and it will go through this i b here and finally it will go out from here so this is actually i e right this is not i b this is i e right and then downwards we have i c current here right so initially our plan is to find i b so i'll take the potential here as 6 volt this point and i'm planning to apply potential difference up to here curve of flow right so let's apply curve of flow along the path this resistor will keep 400 into 10 to the power 3 ib potential plus then we have vbe value so it's a silicon transistor it will keep 0 0.7 volt you know that right 0 0.7 volt plus then we have yes ie into 1 into 10 to the power 3 total value equals 6 right here we need two equations to get to the ib value first thing ie equals ic plus ib and then finally beta value is equal to ic over ib right knowing these two equations then only we can do this question right now we have this equation right let's apply other values so for ie actually we can write ie equals 99 ib plus ib then it's total 100 ib right so let's modify our equation now 40 410 to the power 3 ib plus i'm taking this 0 0.7 volt to the other side and 100 ib into 1 into 10 to the power 3 equals 5.3 so let's simplify it now 400 10 to the power 3 100 10 to the power 3 that becomes 500 ib into 10 to the power 3 equals 5.3 right so then ib equals 5.3 divided by 
500 into 10 to the power 3. Simplification method, I'll multiply this by 2 and this by 2, it's easy for me to simplify. So I get 10.6 divided by, yes, 1000 and 10 to the power 6, so I'm getting 10.6 micro IB, we have our first answer. Right, now we have IB value. Now we need to move into finding I C value that is actually not that difficult. Actually finding I E is really easy because I is I E we found it's 100 I B. So we can conclude 10.6 microampere into 100. So I'm getting 1060 micro amperes that means 1.06 milli amperes is ie i see actually we have a uh, couple of methods to find it actually we can multiply 99 into 10.6 micro amperes or you can subtract 1.06 milliamperes minus 10.6 microamperes. So in any case, we can conclude IE that is approximately equal to IC. So we can uh, actually equalize these two. So we can conclude it's 1.06 milliamperes, right? So we have IC and IE values both now, right? Then moving into find VCE value. Remember, we have done a small assumption here. We have taken I C equals I E. But in some questions, actually, if there is a bit of uh, big variations, then we have to actually find the value, real I C value. But here, I'm not going to find the real I C value, right? So, to find V C E value, that is basically I need to find the potential difference across this point, C point, and E point. Finding the potential at VE point, it's quite easy because the potential here is zero. So the potential hold by one kilo ohms, that is basically the potential at E here. So 1.06 milliamperes into 1 into 10 to the power 3 ohms. That's milli and 10 to the power 3 cancel off. We are getting 1.06 volt, that is VE. Right, we have that potential with us now. Right, now we have VE potential, now we need to find the potential at C. Same procedure, 1 kilo ohm, so 1 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 1.06 milliampere. So milli and 10 to the power 3 cancel off. Again, I'm getting the potential difference held by 1 kilo ohms is 1.06 volt. So the potential at this C point is we need to subtract from 6, 6 minus 1.06, that is 0 0.94, 4.94 volt, right. So finding VCE value, we are getting closer to the answer now. VC point is 4.94 volt, that is subtracted by 1.06 volt. Of course, you can see it's 3.8 8 volt that is our final answer vce value right this question actually not that difficult